Okay, so I've got a little bit of vinegar left in this spray bottle, so let's see what we got. Uh, wanted to try that, as it looks like. It could be like, uh, you know, calcite or this one too. Okay. Oops, sorry. This one. And I'm kind of trying to, oh wow, this is that industrial vinegar, woo! Yeah, this'll, this'll do it. It is crazy, it is crazy, crazy, crazy. So, oh my gosh, I gotta walk away. It is so strong. Shall we try this too? This one that really reacted with the hydrogen peroxide. Let's try that one too. Okay, now this is like industrial grade vinegar. It is so strong that, I mean, it comes with a major warning label, so. Oh gosh, my eyes are burning. So, let's see what we got going on with the vinegar. We've got, any reaction? Looks like we could have some reaction here. Perhaps a little bit of reaction there. Not much, which is what I would expect. And then here, nothing. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I have, people think is calcite, just because we're in Pueblo County, but it's like basically Guster County. It is just right on the border. Also on the border of Fremont County. and. So not everything is calcite. In fact, most of it's not. Now this, I am seeing a reaction. A little bit. Not as much as you would expect with 75% pure vinegar, right? And I guess what I'm showing is that... Nothing there. See, and this looks like limestone, but it's been replaced. Uh, same here. So normally when you have really, really strong industrial grade vinegar and uh, calcium carbonate, you will see a vigorous reaction. Like, there is no doubt. And so here, again, a lot of times people say, Septarian concretions are limestone um, matrix, and as you can see, this is not, nor are the crystals, and that is pretty typical around here. Just yeah. As far as carbonates, or, uh, yeah, carbonates, siderite, but that doesn't always show a reaction. I suspect dolomite, which also is not going to show a reaction. Sericite won't. Let's see what we got here. Any reaction here? Let me see if that's a reaction or just the crystals. Might be a little reaction. There might be a little bit of calcite in there. We'll clean it off and see. So, yeah. So there you go. And then this guy, I mean, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, oh, right there, there's some. Right there at the bottom. But if you've ever done any type of acid testing on calcite, uh, you know it's pretty, pretty rigorous, so, or pretty effervescent. And then this, of course, is not. So, that is the deal here. We've seen the hydrogen peroxide and the vinegar. Now, just to reiterate, vinegar will indicate calcite and aragonite. Um, 
a lot of the other, this one's really heavy. The other carbonates will either have a very slight reaction or you have to powderize it. Dolomite actually has no reaction. Um, for the most part, it's even if you powderize it. So really you're looking for calcite and aragonite, which again, just I don't see around here. And that's for various reasons. All right, let's shine them up and see what we got.